I say there is no other God. From east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. From east to west, daddy, no other God. From north to south, I said there is no other God from east to west, no other God from north to south. I said there is no other God from east to west, no other God from north to south. I said there is no other God. Papa, there is no God like you. There is no God like you, eh? There is no God like you, eh? Daddy, no God like you. Papa, no wonder like you. Jehovah, no God like you, eh? But I like find I might not see her more. Papa, no God like you, eh? No God like you, eh? There is no God like you, eh? Papa, God, I find I might not see her more. Papa, no God like you, eh? No God like you, eh? Papa, no God like you, eh? I find I'm an Ossiam, Baba, no go like you, Baba, no go like you, Baba, no go like you, eh? I find I'm an Ossiam, Baba, no one like you, eh? Eh? You find I'm you not see I'm all, Baba, eh? No go like you, eh? No one like you, eh? Baba, no one like you, oh. No one like you, eh? Baba, no one like you, eh? Baba, I find I might not see I'm oh. Baba, no one like you, eh? I find I might not see I'm oh. Baba, no one like you, oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the mighty one in battle. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your authority. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lysheda. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. Thank you, Jehovah Rakibong. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Jehovah, mighty God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Jehovah. Father, I begin to pray, I commit this program into your hands. I commit this hour, Lord God, and those that are following this particular program, I commit it into your hands. Lord Jesus, I begin to pray at this particular hour. Father, that they will not go back the same. Father, that the word King of Kings is going to transform them and bring them to their needs. Father, that the word King of Kings, the prophetic word on the inside of the revelation is going to push them forward. Mighty God, you are the God that when you speak, the earth tremble. You are the God that when you scroll, Father, the earth tremble. I begin to speak forth your word. Father, Lord, as your word is about to come out, let it be a sharpener. Let it be a pointer. Let it be an encourager. Let it be an achiever. Let it be a promoter. Let it be a healer. Let it be, Lord, a word of intercession. Let it be a word of breakthrough. Let it be a word of salvation. Let it be your word. Father, anywhere they are that you are following me, through this platform, through this media, Lord, reach forth to their need. 
reach forth to their private need. Let it be available to them. In the name of Jesus, I pray my Father, let them take your word and your counsel to their heart. Let them put it into practice. You are the God when things are moving wrongly. Father, you always step up to address your people. When things are not going in the right way, you are the God that sees even in the deep oceans. You see even what man cannot see. You give the best counsel. Mighty God, as this word is coming forward, Give them that wisdom to understand the time, to understand the realm of the spirit, to understand the physical environment. Father, let them understand what they should do at this particular hour. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, King of Kings, because I see you touching hearts in this program. I see you bringing healing. I see you bringing breakthrough. I see you, Lord God, moving in an unpresented manner. I see you, Lord God, breaking chains. I see you speaking a prophetic word on the life. I see you doing it in a great way. Thank you Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you for doing it in Jesus mighty name. Amen. By the special grace of God I am prophet Anyangwe Sebastian from God is faithful to all nations ministry. By the special grace of God there are some things God has impressed in my spirit that we should talk about it very fast fast. Very fast, fast, we want to talk about what God was revealing to me. I could not sleep. I have to make a very short video. And I want that if you're making, if you're watching it, have a pen and paper, write some of these things down. God bless you for joining us. As you are just coming in, share it with some other people. Share it. There is something deeper which the Holy Ghost want to talk about. He want to talk about something deeper. And our people should be preparing their mind about it. They should prepare their mind. They should prepare their mind. It's something so deep. So share the link. The people should write it down. It's about, it's about what is to take place, what is to take place, what is to happen. So this is for people to prepare their mind and to start preparing themselves financially, prepare themselves physically, prepare themselves well for what you are about to listen to. So God bless you for joining in, uh, Mr. Shibu. God bless you, Madam Shibu, Mary, Lavia. God bless you for joining us. God bless you, Pastor Ehabe Eno. God bless you, man of God. God bless you also. God bless you, Mr. Ayesi Jones for watching. So the Holy Ghost was saying something. We, have, we are asking ourselves, Father, what is the way forward? What is happening? What is, what is actually taking place? Why is it that things cannot move from this area to this area? Once you are already in a big shit, you are already into something, it's already in your hands. And you're struggling to wash. By the time you use this hand to wash these other hands, that thing that God has stained on these hands, it will touch these other hands. But that does not mean the hands will not be washed. Even if it's your whole hands that becomes dirty, finally the hands will be clean. So it's a parable, but this is this is what this is what God was showing me in the spiritual. This is what He was showing me in the spiritual. That you have to make your people to understand something. You have to tell them, give this information out. It's very important. And for you who is about to handle this information, that this information is about reaching you now. You have to be very careful with this kind of information. First thing first, I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm a son of God. And God has not called me to speak only for a particular nation. It's for all nations. I always said that it's 50-50. So now, this is, what, this is what will be happening. I say you are already into it. You know the it I'm talking about. And you're struggling to cut this finger to clean it up. And by the time you're doing it, you're wounding this other side. Now, this is what will be happening. In the realm of the spirit, I will speak in a coin in a, in a coded language. I will speak in a coded language. In the realm of the spirit, the Holy Ghost got hold of me and took me to a place. When he took me to that place, I saw a group of people. People we are looking for a place where they can hide. They were looking for a place of safety. And there was no place for safety for them. And all of a sudden, they started giving them some kind of chance. 
They were distributing this juju door by door. They were visiting one door to another. They were giving people juju one after the other. I know what juju means. Juju is not the juju you are thinking of like masquerade that they cover. It's a coded language. It is just for the, for the few people who understand what I'm talking about. They were moving from door to door. They were giving juju. Each family was receiving juju. Families by family, each family with a juju, each family with a juju, each family with a juju, they were receiving. It was like a granite. It's like they were sharing granite. Families by families, they were taking, say, you take yours, you take yours. The people saw it that this is the only means for them to have this juju. And they were using this juju to protect themselves. They were using it to protect themselves. So everywhere was what juju lies. It's a coin language. There's no word in the English dictionary like juju lies. So everywhere was what juju lies. What I am saying now, you might not experience it now, but we are getting to that point where juju will be available for everybody. Juju will be available for, they will be giving juju like this. And they will not, people will see the need to carry juju. People will see the need to do juju. People will see the need to use juju to fight for themselves and to defend themselves. I don't know if you understand very well. The few men of God that we are there talking to them, telling them about the implication of giving everybody juju, how the place, how the village, how the country is going to be like if everybody is giving juju, that is going to be disastrous. Nobody listening to them. I was in that rain observing those juju. All kind of juju, we have big juju, small juju, all kind of jujus that we're giving them. All kind of juju that you can jump with it, the juju that you can stand, the juju that you can move from here, juju that if you send juju, juju will reach right from here to the next place, and so on. Oh, it was just given, it was rampant. And then the few men of good faith, they rose up and started talking. This policy of giving everybody juju, making it disposal. You cannot control this kind of juju you are giving to everybody. You will not be able to control this juju that you are making everybody to have juju. It will be difficult. But nobody listening to them anymore. This juju, they were using it to defend themselves. At the same time, they were using the same juju to fight themselves. The situation became difficult to handle. It become difficult. And the Lord said, are you seeing what your people will be having in the next few months to come? He told me about the month of July. He said, it's just going to be some kind of a kickstart in the month of July. But by the time you get to the month of November, December, by the time the month here is clocking, the juju will be available for everybody. He said, tell my people, I still love them, I'm still with them. Not everybody should have juju. Not everybody should have juju. But very soon juju will be giving a granite. What is the advice God is trying to say? He is tired. He's struggling to do everything to rescue his people. He's struggling to establish himself in their means. He's struggling to build some kind of a relationship. He's struggling to do everything possible. But the people don't want to listen. They want to do by all means. So here is it. If you give everybody juju, you that you even give the juju to somebody to use, Without you looking at, without you considering certain things, you are forcing them, you are giving them juju and they are taking it. You that is giving them juju, they will use that same juju for you. That same juju will be used for you. That same juju that you are giving it out, that take. Like I said, if you are joining us now, juju in the spiritual realm is not like the juju we are seeing here, the masquerade. It's a different thing I'm referring to be juju. I don't want to call the name what the name is. But this is what I saw. I mean, juju. Everybody was taking juju. My bee is a real juju. My bee is a real juju. Not that the majority of people will go into it. And I said, but what is it? We are preaching and nobody is understanding. It's because of the juju. We say, yeah, this is what is holding your nation down. And this is the situation. I think um, it's a parable. 
I cannot say it here, but if I am able to talk to somebody one on one, I will break it down for you. You will understand it. I will break it down for you, but I cannot say it here. So glory be to God, but the wisdom is already out for those who will listen with a prophetic ear. For those who are listening with a prophetic ear, they can start avoiding that kind of a scenario. They should start avoiding that kind of a scenario. I could not sleep when I saw it. It was, it was bad. So, for those who have prophetic ear, for those who have the heart of God, for those who understood the message of God, for those who have power, for those who have power to change situation, they, start, they should start putting principles to whom Juju will be given to. They should start putting principle and principle to whom Juju will be given to. Amen. They shall start putting principle to whom Juju will be given to. They shall regulate all those things, what they should do and how the nation should move forward. They should put all those things. People have power. They should think of what they should be doing. It is not like they should just give it to everybody. Because the plan they have now, the plan which I am seeing. I am seeing a group of people. Please, one minute, let me get to the office. Okay, let me just, um, I was live, let me just, okay. Okay, just one moment. Hello? Okay. So, for people, sorry for that um, interruption, it is where, it is where we have to, we have a meeting now. It's our prayer time. So I think that is just it. If people have the political mind, for people who can see far, I cannot actually bring the message for you to understand it. If I break it, but you, for you who understood it, it's very clear. There is a group of people, a group of people that will be coming in, and when they do come in, they will be distributing juju. As long as you're willing, they just give you. As long as you're willing, they give you. And you will see that is the only means to survive. So if you don't control the way of juju, this is the greatest problem you're going to have. Everybody will be jujulized, and the juju, you will use it even against the people that gave you the juju. So like I said, juju is not like juju, we said. And it can still be juju that we said. So I think um, God bless you. So what is the principle laid down to avoid that kind of a scenario where people will be coming into your place to give you things and to say whatever it is, take it and go and use it, do whatever it is. After all, what is it that you need? You need freedom, you need happiness. So take these things and go and use. So you have to avoid that kind of a scenario because what we have it is not going to be good. Because when I use juju for you, you will use juju for me. So that is what I'm looking at. It was jujulization. God bless you, Pastor Pastor Glenn, for joining now. God bless you for coming in. So I think I um, have a very short period. Now I have counseling program now. I will just pray. My message for today, I was supposed to read from the book of Judges. Judges chapter 6, verse 25 to 6. I was supposed to present it, but... 
there is no time to do that now. But just, just go over. That night the Lord told Gideon, Take your father's bowl and another bowl, seven years old, tear down your father's altar to bar, and cut down the symbol of the godless, Asherian, Asherian, Asherah, which is beside it. Build a well, be a well, be a well. Madam, God bless you. Can you, can you be patient enough? It's okay. All right. Be, be a well. Let me take it all over. Cut down the symbol of the godless. Of the godless, which means the godless has a name. Asheria, which is beside it. Be a well-constructed altar to the Lord your God on top of this mount. Then take the second bowl, which means it was two bowls. The second bowl burn it whole as an offering, using for firewood the symbol of Asheria you have cut down. So Gideon took ten of his amen. So that is it. There are some things that are happening in one's life until you get to the root of it. You will never understand what is it that you are suffering from. It's normal with us Africans and even Europeans and even other parts of the world. Wherever we are coming from, our history will determine where we are going to. Our history will determine where we are going to. There are things people have been doing and you just, you just got up and he inherited it and you're suffering from it. If a particular thing is taking place in your life, is consistent, is over you, and you are there over and over, there must be a root for that particular thing, and that thing must be addressed properly. When you address somebody by his name, by his title, the person will know that you are talking to this person. But if you don't know where it is coming from, you will keep suffering. One and the same situation always, 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 always is a problem. I want to talk about Africa as a whole. We have this issue of gods, not only Africa and with other nations. Issue of gods. Issue of gods. What our parents introduced us or what they were doing before. As a young man, you must have been struggling in life. Doing the business is fail, the next business fail, and the other one fail, you discover that nothing is happening. And somebody comes and tells you, please come and use one or two things. Let me give you this small thing, like some kind of charm. I want you to use it. Use this charm so that you can do well in business. Or maybe something is disturbing you. Take this thing for protection and you take it to your house. You put it there that you are protecting your children. Yeah. I once saw a situation where a woman came, we were talking, and the Lord opened my eyes, was showing me that this is a representative of the gods of their family. She was from the western region. She was the person they took and made her the god. When the father died, they made her the god of the family. She was in charge of the school. But this thing started disturbing her. She left her place, the western region, and ran to Bamenda because she was almost going mad. And when they brought her for prayer, and the Lord opened her eyes, he said, Look, madam, you are the main gods in your family. They have given you all the juju and everything. You are the one holding it. And now it's against you. So what you need is prayers, deliverance, and you give your life to Jesus Christ. Accept Christ and throw away all those things. And you will see God moving into your life. But she had those gods because of those little, little beef, chicken, fowl, that they, those small chicken that they are giving her, she's eating. But she was the main god. They worship her in the family. And the rest of the family members cannot progress in life. You cannot serve two gods at the same time. It's either an altar is speaking for you for failure or another one is speaking for you for success. Two things cannot be talking to you at the same time. So if you have this situation of gods being related to your family and you are not succeeding in life, know that there is a strong man that is above you, a wrong altar is speaking against you. Gideon never knew that the problems they were facing in the land of Israel was as a result of the power of Baal speaking on his behalf. 
imagine this is a man that they will come, despite the fact that they were small. But that does not mean if you are small, you cannot progress. This is a man that they will harvest, they will plant their crops, and they will not be able to harvest one grain of it. People will come and chase them away. Pursue them. They are running and hiding inside caves. Some people, whatever you struggle to achieve in life, you will never get it. Some people, they are rich, they have money, but they have not achieved anything with that money. It's useless. Something just controls them. They have good business, they want to do the next minute, something just come and controls them. They put it somewhere, they don't know where it is. But what happened to them? Some they are unable to achieve a certain level in life. It's like a course that everybody will end at the primary school level. No matter how, or whatever you do, nobody can even progress in any area. Some is a disease that is plaguing the entire generation. When you begin to see some kind of mysteries that are taking place in your life, you, you must start asking some questions. Where is the root of this thing coming from? There must be a demonic entity. If you are a child of God and God has not put you on the scale of weight, my son, he has not put you on the, on, the, on the scale of I am silent for now, but I will answer you. And then these things are taking place. It's the constant experience. Note that there is somebody, a demonic entity that must be addressed by his character, by his activity, if possible by his name. After addressing it and must be cast away from your business. This young man could do everything. He was skillful. Potential, if he was talent, Gideon was the best. But anyway, Gideon put those talent, there were nothing before, before those people. Somebody will always come and take it from you. Today you have a job, tomorrow you lost it. Today you are married, the next minute you are not married. Today this one is happening, this one is not happening. The life is just like that. It's just like that. It's just like that. You ask yourself, what is happening? Trace it well. Gods are responsible. Gideon cried before God. He said, this pain is too much. And the angel of God, God that is so being so merciful that understood when cry is coming from the heart. There are two kinds of ways we can cry before God. We can do pretentious cry because we are suffering. Oh, God, I've suffered. Hey, I've suffered, I've suffered. Hey, God, this thing is, I've suffered. You are sharing tears, but it's not coming from the heart. You are not communicating to God. God understood when something is coming from the heart and is yielding to him. God will not help you because you have suffered, but he will help you because you have seen the need for him in your life. Because you have seen that without, without God, nothing can work. You have surrendered. He said, I fought the battle, is more than me. Father, this is it. This young man cried before God. He was not only crying for himself, but he was crying for the entire generation. Can you imagine the destiny of a nation rest upon the head of somebody called Gideon, but Gideon never knew that God was to use him to liberate his entire family from poverty, his entire land from stagnation, his entire generation from something he never knew. But he cried. First of all, he looked at where, to where something is disturbing you, eh? ask yourself, where did my parents took me from? Where did they initiate me? Ask this question. Put your mother down and ask, Papa, please tell me, did you visit any place before I was being born? Did you mark anything on my body? Was I given to any altar before? What is actually happening? Did somebody place a bad one on you and is pursuing me now? When you begin to ask all these questions, if they are alive, ask them. If they cannot talk, take prayers. Give your way to the history of his life. Start tracing the root of his forefathers, Abraham. He went to the promises God made upon Abraham. He saw the kind of battle God did in the life of Moses. He said, but where are those powers? Just somebody is asking now. I am sick. But where is that power we are hearing in the Bible? Jesus made his hand like this. The eyes were open. And Jesus walked from one village to another where people were receiving healing. And Jesus was doing it. He stood on the wave. He waved his hand like this. The wave became still. He touched somebody with an issue of blood of 38 years. The person received healing. And he did this. Where is that power today? Somebody is asking this question. Is it not the God we used to hear is doing things? Where 
Where is that power? We read a lot of power, 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 manifestation of God, but in book, in book, in book. Somebody asked me last time that I've used um, 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 a King James version today. I used to read King James Jason, but King James, I'm always using it because it's good for my understanding. But not all the books I study there. I know the books I study. So if you have enough God written in book, power of God in book, in book, people have read it, they are tired, they want to see it. They are asking these questions. So when you start asking God some of these questions, that one is already bringing you closer to that power. Because Gideon started questioning some things in the Bible. He said, Father, if you appear, you parted the Red Sea, my forefathers, they came. Now where am I? Why is it that those great things that were happening in the life of my forefathers are not happening to me now, but I'm seeing a contrary thing. And God, who was so merciful, spoke. He sent an angel. Glory to God. I'm seeing you receiving an angel. There's somebody that is coming into your life. He's giving you a solution to what you have been asking for. I'm seeing it. Let somebody say amen. I'm seeing somebody coming into your life now. He's coming now. He's giving you a solution of what you have been asking for for many years. I'm seeing somebody standing in a gap and praying for you. I'm seeing somebody, a link God is creating to answer some mysteries that you have been asking for. He's coming your life in the name of Jesus. An angel spoke to Gideon. He said, let me tell you the mystery. Why is it that they are dominating you? Because something has been done in the spiritual. Why is it that your neighbors are beating you always? Why is it that each time you do business, you go to the market, you sell a lot of things, and you're coming back home rejoicing at the end of the day, that money has nothing to do for your life? He spoke to Gideon. He said, I want you to destroy the altars of your father's house. That means there was an altar that was speaking in, the, in, the, in, in, the, in Gideon's father's house. There was something that was speaking against Gideon. And the name was given. It's called Baal. He talked about the goddess. It means it was two. Those gods, they were a man and, and a woman. Baal is one. And the wife of the god was, was also a goddess called Asheria. They were two. In that same house, working against the prosperity of Gideon and Israel. But when God instructed, He said, Go back to your father's house and break down that pool and raise an altar for me. He said, There was a bad altar that was speaking for you. Each time you walk, you gather, it scatters. Each time you walk, you gather, it scatters. Each time you walk, you gather, it scatters. A woman went somewhere. When summer, when she was young to carry water, when she got to that stream, a spirit appeared to her. This one is not a Nigerian film. I'm in the ministry for many years. I'm telling you what is happening. And what God opened my eyes to see prophetically, she went carry water in the stream. A spirit spoke to her. She cried that she is not having a, she wants a baby. They gave her baby, opened her womb. She gave, she gave birth to more than five girls. Five girls that she gave birth to. Came back, only her alone know what happened. Came back to the house that she has negotiated with the spirit and she came back and had five girls she let her on pass on to i don't know why it was glory or not glory she died the children today they are more than of more than they are, they are there all over scattered in the world but none of them beautiful girls none of them is married beautiful girls they are working if it's money forget it they have money they have it good jobs but none of them is married None of them is having a child. I mean, even a finger knee. None of them. But they have sorted the face of God. It can only take the eyes of God working in the life of a prophet to reveal such a thing. That look, this is a covenant that was made upon your life by your mother and this is a river in this village. Ah, man of God, this is wonderful. Yes, that is God. God revealed it. Made in that village by your mother. Your mother is no longer alive. She has pleased her own life. She's no longer the shame of barrenness left her. And she's happy. She, she lived well happily that she had children. But she has just transferred her witchcraft to the children. I mean, none of them scattered in the world, suffering. Now we need to start praying and asking God to move into those kind of altars, break down the spirit, husband, mommy, what that spirit, all those things to break it. Let that family be liberated. And let those children 
have the position as children of God. So we, if you don't understand, there are some things that were being done that you don't even know about. On your behalf, you are not aware. Some you are aware. So you must know. Some you are aware. Some you did it by yourself. Some other people. So this altar, they do speak. And when they start speaking, there's an altar called stagnation. There's an altar called poverty. There's an altar limitation. There's an altar sickness. This one, they take you to the hospital. The doctor will run all kind of tests. Pharmacological, whatever name they will give you to it, they will not see anything wrong with you in your system. But the hand of a witch is responsible for it. They can take you to the best hospitals, but they will not see anything wrong with you. If you want to look at it very well, you will see that it's an altar. It's an altar. Those altars must be broken. Amen. I want to join my faith in two minutes to pray for you who believe. Who believe in the faithful God. And who also believe in the God we are serving. That is a faithful God. He will not fail. He has power to break barrier. Whether you are living across the ocean in Atlanta, in Jamaica, in Germany, in South Africa. You are following me now live in Nigeria. In Nigeria, what you are following me there in Dubai, in America. In Texas, whether you're following me anywhere in the world, be it in Cameroon, and you believe that the power of God is enough to break things into your life. You believe that only that power can break and set you free. Only that power can visit that altar in your village that is crying, negative cry for you. Only God can move in those places to visit your father's house, to visit shrines that were destroyed, but they are still powerful your family. Only Holy Ghost can redress those situations. Only God can break those charms that a woman put on you. Only God can break those curses that were put on you by a woman or by a man. Only God can break and set you free from that occultic cause. Only God can break and set you free from the powers of scores that are talking and I'm acting against you. If you believe in me, and you believe in God, that this is what God is addressing at this particular hour. You that is watching from Germany, Britain, anywhere in the world, that you believe that the power of God is able to move into places to break stronghold, to visit your village, to visit your compound. That compound that you buried, you could not go there again because you heard that somebody has planted a charm. That compound that you buried and you could not go there because you heard somebody is doing something wrong. That particular old that is speaking, that child that is always waking up in the night and crying, that voice that you have been hearing making noise on the roof, that particular thing that is giving you sleepless night, that job that you have been missing, you have been losing all the time, that particular stigma in your life, that inability to grow, that particular thing blocking you wherever you are, if you believe that God is faithful, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you and close this live broadcast. I want to pray with you. I want to stand with faith in praying for you at this particular hour. I want to pray. I don't care what that grandmama did to you. When you were small, she called for you and opened your heart and spat on it. She spoke some negative word. She was speaking. You thought that she was blessing. She was saying that more money will stand on your hands. You will not receive those money. Anything you do, it will leave you. She is no longer alive, but you are suffering. I want to stand in agreement with the word of God that is a faithful God to break chains to pray with you to that individual that has been having miscarriages each time you are pregnant somebody comes and touch your stomach in the night and your baby disappears I want to stand with you in faith in praying for that individual who has been receiving job and is not working failing and failing you are in the house now for the past three months no work for you I want to join my faith I believe God that the power of God is able and it can reach you anywhere the power of God can reach you. I want to pray with that individual who has been working has never been promoted, but they say you are a good worker. Only good worker for mouth, but no promotion. Salary is not increasing, it's only going down. I want to join my faith to pray for you. I want to pray for that individual that has been that has been that has been experiencing some mysterious things taking place in your house. Mysterious death epilepsy some kind of things that are taking place in your household and you are asking god where are you i want to join my faith my faith the faith god has given me and the faith of god is big enough to heal you to liberate you but i want you to agree with me i want you to agree with me before i pray with you agree with me in your own faith that this prayer that we are about to pray now is going to work for you thank you father thank you jesus 
Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, I begin to pray by the power of the Holy Ghost and the power in the name of Jesus. Father, I stand by the confession and by the power in the blood. I speak this word upon your children that are following me in our life. I break every power of stagnation. Every God's working against their finances upon their lives in the name of Jesus. I begin to speak anything that is a threat to your salvation. Anything putting you down. I break it in the name of Jesus. I speak to your career. Begin to move forward. I pray for anointing of speed upon your destiny. I begin to speak any destiny that has been cut off. Begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. I speak to your womb. Receive your baby in the name of Jesus. I speak to your finances. This particular hour, move forward in the name of Jesus. I speak to your health. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to your document. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I begin to speak that power of death emanating from your father's house. That power emanating from the witchcraft coven. That power emanating from the power of sin. Sickness. That power emanating from your father's kingdom, from your mother's kingdom, working against your life. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I arrest the negative power that being against your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. I frustrate the works of the enemy over your life, over your business, over your career in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to speak. Let God catapult you. The people that say you will never be somebody, you will be somebody. I see God making you move more than what they are thinking of. I see God glorifying you where you were not supposed to be glorified. I see God wearing you the cloth of honor. I see God putting a wonderful robe on you. I see the recognition of the hand of God upon you in the ministry in the name of Jesus. I see God putting those people to shame, those that they say you will not prosper. I see God embarrassing you with blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Father, I see you are moving, Lord. Father, this woman does she stop menstruating. Father, I pray. Lord, I see you touching her womb. She menstruating now. Thank you, Father. I see a baby that is coming. I see a baby. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see a relationship that is being fulfilled. Thank you, Lord. I see this man who is taking the decision to give his life to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you for doing it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is a man that is going to call you back for your job. You are going back for that job. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. Thank you for doing it. I thank you, Lord, for disgracing this God of stagnation upon their life. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Father, you are wonderful. You are great. You are awesome. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for revealing the secret of their family. Thank you for revealing the spiritual hidden stranger in their life. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, King of Kings, for breaking that curse that was placed by this grandmama on her life. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for silencing this negative blood that is speaking on her behalf. Thank you, Father. Thank you for moving your son forward. Thank you for your anointing upon their life. Thank you, Lord, for opening the eyes of your son. Thank you, Lord, for an encounter with them. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well. God has done it for you. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ and you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to say this prayer before me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary for me. Thank you for shedding your blood for my sins. Father, I repent this day. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord from this day henceforth. And I denounce any other God that were working for me. I accept you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed a simple prayer of salvation, you are welcome into the kingdom of God. It's a very big family. It's a Christian family. Look for a living church anywhere. A living church where the power of God is there, where the Holy Ghost is talking to people and people are talking to the Holy Ghost. Look, go there and serve God. But if you are in Cameroon here and you are in Bamenda, you can fellowship with us. We are at um, Meta Quarters, former Bazaar, second floor. We have our prayer house there. God is faithful to all nations. Prayer house. 
you can join us for our hour of deliverance and prophetic move. May God bless you for being a part of us this particular hour. By the grace of God, you are being the company of Prophet Anyangwe Sebastian. I want to take my time now to greet you who have abandoned everything to be a part and parcel of this service, this hour. I want to greet you. I pray the Lord put a word for me for you. I just pray God bless you. Madam Shippo Mary, love you. God bless you for coming online to follow this particular program. God bless you. Your course will never dry. God will continue to do more for you. God will continue to do more for you. I see God doing great things for you. I see God doing great things for you. For you. There's a stamp. There's a stamp. I've seen a stamp. There's a stamp. I don't know. What do you have in a document? There's a stamp on it. It is well. It is well. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know how we can do this. I would have loved to talk to you here one-on-one, -on -one, to talk to you on this live broadcast, prophesy on you one-on-one, -on -one, but I cannot do it like that. If I keep doing like that, it will be very hard. It's like I'm hurting you. I would have loved to ask your opinion. Can I talk to you? So that you say, talk to me, man of God. Then I can talk to you. But now, I am just seeing you here. My being... I will just, if God leads me to talk to you, it will just be an open prophecy. It will not be an individual prophecy. Amen. So God bless you, man of God. Yabi, uh, Eno, God bless you. I see God bringing new doors before you. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for his life. Thank you, Lord God, for that great connection. You are just connecting him now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. I see Aisy Jones. Mr. Aisy, God bless you for following us. This particular, I also see the hand of God on you. God wants to do something great in your life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. But I ask, why is this construction still standing like this? Why, why? Okay, let's say activity of the country, but I see you are going to complete your work. In the name of Jesus, I see you, Sister Mango Mimbe. God bless you, Sister. Wonderful, you are my sister. Long time. God bless you for following us. God will continue to do well for you. He's standing by you. I see God settling you down big time. God bless you so much. God bless you. Um, but TC, you have been the favorite follower. You have been, you are not missing our live program. God bless you for being part of us. If you are here, you are still following us. You can just type amen god is faithful god bless you i see god bringing the prophetic work to pass god bless you man of god uh, man of god mr fred glenn god bless you for being part of all there's also an open door coming for you what is this a mission i don't know i don't know i don't know I don't know you ask for something and i see god granting the request for you god bless you mr glenn god bless you mr ramon porter from germany you have also been a covenant listener and a covenant follower and a covenant viewer you don't miss our program god bless you for being part of it the greatest thing you are asking god is in your heart and god has answered it for you already not long you will smile you will text me one day you say man of god it has happened Thank you, Father, for his life. God bless you, Mr. Jack, Jaika, Jaika, Eri, from following us. God bless you at this hour. I don't know if you're in Cameroon following us, but may God bless you. I also see door opening for you. I see doors opening for you. You are not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be here. This is the second time. This is the second time. He gets, he's so strong in my spirit. He's so strong in my spirit. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. The altar in this house is broken. The altars in your father's house is broken. The altar is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, I close every eyes of this negative juju following your son anywhere. I break it in the name of Jesus. I speak breakthrough. Anywhere you shall put your hand or ask for favor, let favor locate you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I begin to speak to those connections that were blocked in his life to be opened this hour in the name of Jesus. Receive it anywhere you go in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. So, Mr. Jaika, Jaika, Eric, when the morning starts coming, don't buy cafes, okay? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, Mr. Glenn, I've spoken to you. Ramon Potter, I've spoken to you. Mr. Peter Ngosong, Ngosong, Emmanuel, God bless you for following this particular area. I think there is a place you were before. There was a place you were fellowshipping before. You were under a man of God. You were there, you were doing something. I want you to go back to that former man of God you were before. 
this man was doing a tremendous thing in your life. He was doing a great job, but I don't know what happened. But there's, there's, there's an oil upon your life. Just take it before God and meet this man. Let this man just help you to see what can come up from you. And, 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 and also, this young lady, this young lady, you have, to, you have to forgive her, okay? God bless you. God bless you. You can inbox me. We can talk. God bless you, my doctor. My doctor, God bless you. This is my doctor. God bless you, Dr. Neville Defoe Akangwa from, from Britain. God bless you for following us at this hour. I see God doing something great too in your life. More open doors. More open doors. I see God doing it. I see things are opening in two ways. Thank you, Father. A great project. A great project is in your hands now. And God is going to give you resources to do more and more. Your health is okay. God bless you, sir. God bless you, the preacher, Mr. The preacher, for joining us at this hour. May God continue to increase and also dominate more and more in your life. The anointing, let it continue to flow from every area. God bless and let the Lord use you mightily. God bless you, Sister Mbele Comfort. God bless you so much. You are also a sister. You are also following us always. May God continue to stand by your side. Those major things you want to do, just hold on. Just hold on those major things you want to do now. Just hold on a bit. Um, um, December, uh, this is a prophetic month for you. December is a prophetic month for you. December and January 19th. It's a prophetic word for you, prophetic month for you. God bless you. I see God doing something great again for you. God bless you so much. Please, when he comes, say yes, okay? God bless you. When he comes, say yes. God bless you. I don't want to talk more about that, Mr. Aleppo Ndofo. Mr. Mr. Alomipe Ndoche. God bless you, Alomipe Ndoche. God bless you for joining us. For following us on this hour may god continue to do great things for you more and more god bless you sister fifi sister fifi god winner god bless you sister fidel god bless you so much for joining us it's been a long time wonderful following on program i'm happy you are part of this program you're seeing me god bless you so much i know you're asking one question as this man i started watching you since we were in school as that had not left you, it's amazing that you are seeing it happening today. It's the grace of God. We worked together. We, we saw each other back those in school, in school days. And you can testify for the anointing of God upon my life. God bless you, sister, for following us. I see God doing a great thing for you. I see God taking you to a new arena. I see God putting a great smile in your face. I see God favoring you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You just have to keep that bond together, okay? Don't allow it to split. You understand what I'm talking about? Just keep that bond together. Don't allow it to split. If you can talk on inbox, it's better. God bless you. This is my name, Sex Sebastian Acho. God bless you for following this particular program. May God continue to stand with you and see you through. Continue to stand with you. Can you can you talk to your mother? I don't know the person that brought you up. Can the two of you make amends? Can you talk to your family? Let things get moving again. Thank you, Father. I also see I'm seeing somebody that left your family. The person is not coming back. It's been long. You are not you cannot find that person, no trace of that person some time ago. But I'm seeing the Holy Ghost locating that individual. I'm talking to you, Mr. Sebastian Nacho. I am seeing God bringing that person back. It's not yet dead, it's alive. It's alive, it's not yet dead. May God bless you for following us. I think um, that is it. We come to the end of this live broadcast. May God bless you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Father, let this prophetic word be a standard for their life. Give them the spirit to serve you. Give them the spirit to see that you are faithful. Take away anxiety. Take away stress in their life. Give them peace anywhere they are following this program. Let them have peace in their soul. Let them know you are faithful. Let them know you are taking them to the next level. Let them know your relationship with them is getting deeper. Give them that spirit, Lord God of salvation, spirit of righteousness. Let them serve you. Thank you, Lord, for restoring this destiny. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Let me put my WhatsApp number here. If you want to have contact with me, I will put my WhatsApp number. You have to want to have a contact with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, that is my WhatsApp number. If you want to talk with me, you can mail me or you can send me 
or you can inbox me there's no problem okay I want to pin it here so that we have it God bless you when next you are joining me I want you to always type amen amen God is faithful yeah always type like that always type when we are on live we're talking okay God bless you let me leave you now amen thank you father for doing that